Hey, I'm Steven Yonte here at SEMA Central with a legend, Dave McClellan. Now, I gotta say that way back around 1999, I was doing a thing called Hot Rod Magazine TV. You were the host. I was nervous. I had never done TV before. You made me feel right at home, and I thank you for that. <laughs> well, I appreciate the compliment. Uh, I love the show. It was fun to do, and I thought over the four and a half years that I was the host of it that just maybe we passed a little bit along to the viewer. But uh, it was a lot of fun, and the whole course television is a lot of fun to start with. Take a look. <laughs> now, of course, you've, you've seen a lot of changes in the industry. What's the most striking to you? The never-ending development of something new. It never is stagnant. Uh, this is, well, the first SEMA show was 1967. I probably started attending shows about 1975. Uh, I started the MC work in 76, and when it moved to Vegas, continued on until 40 years in. And I can tell you, the one thing that absolutely amazes me is every year, there's a whole lineup of new products that are some successful, most of them are, others are a nice try. But it's the constant creativity, and the more sophisticated it gets, the more there is. It's, it's almost never ending. Now, did you ever think, you know, back in the 60s, of course, Hemi's, L88s, 442s, we now have cars with 700 horsepower <laughs> from the factory. Did you ever think you'd see that? <laughs> Well, my first car was a 39 Plymouth six-cylinder four-door sedan okay. that I had to fix the brakes before I could drive it. I wanted a 34 Ford Coupe, little hot rod type car, right? My dad said, no way are you getting into that. And I think a lifetime in the industry is fair payback for him not letting me have the 34 Ford. But uh, it just is an astonishing thing to watch as the minds of the people that develop and come up with the ideas continue to bring them to fruition. I think we have the right people in the right places now, true engineers who are car enthusiasts who probably learn from you and watching you announce drag races. They're the guys now building and designing the cars that we're, we're loving so much. Yeah, the hard thing about announcing is trying to please everybody all at one time. You do your TV work, you do the auctions, all of those kind of things. I remember the first couple of times you and I worked together, you were uh, questioning whether this was a career you wanted to pursue. But uh, it has certainly worked out well for you. And yes, I think people are motivated by a lot of different things advertising campaigns by the OEMs, but it's what gets to them personally is what does it. And when you walk into a SEMA show and you take a look at not only the product but the automobiles on display, you say, I want to do that. Yeah. It's an amazing, this is, this is a multi-billion dollar industry. Billion, not million. And uh, it's an astonishing thing that there's a product for almost every niche, every area, imports, trucks, cars. It's an amazing thing it, to have a... It doesn't matter. I, you know, over the earlier years, I think there was some animosity and conflict between the varying uh, fields of production. Yeah. But today, I think everybody understands we're all in this same pot together. Yeah. And you've got to make it work. And I think this 50th anniversary of the SEMA show more than fulfills that making it work routine. Yeah. Yeah. And I gotta say, your voice is your trademark. I mean, you could recite the alphabet and it would sound holy. <laughs> now, now, how do you keep your voice in check? Any, any tips on longevity? For the Don't throat? abuse it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have done that several times and it takes you a while to recover. So if you find yourself pushing too hard and your voice starts going away, figure out some method of hearing yourself. If you hear yourself and have adjustable volume control on it, a la headsets when you're track announcing, blocking out all the other sound, all you hear is you, 
you don't talk near as loud as you used to. Right. You understand? Because sure. that doesn't exist. Let the audio man set the volume. Don't try to scream your way through to success. Interesting. Are you involved? Any anything you want to tell our viewers about? Any websites? Anything like that that you might be doing now? I am living, moving proof that retirement can be successful. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Yeah. Well, it's great to be here with a legend, and of course, 1994 SEMA Hall of Fame inductee Dave McClellan, the voice of drag racing in so many ways. We'll have a lot more here at SEMA Central. Stick around.